Good morning, everyone. Mike from CCTV Camera Pros here. I'm going to use my home security camera system this morning to give you a quick demo of how the motorized zoom works on one of our network IP cameras. Uh, this is one of our Viewtron AI security cameras, but the motorized zoom controls work the same on these Viewtron cameras, whether it's an IP camera or an HD BNC camera, the controls are the same. I'm gonna show you how to do it directly on the DVR or NVR using the mouse controls. I'm also gonna show you how to do it using the mobile app for iPhone and Android. And then I'm gonna show you how to use it, uh, how to zoom in and out using the desktop software for Mac. And it's the exact same for Windows. Before I go into the demo, uh, let's talk about why motorized zoom cameras exist. Uh, primarily, primarily it's for installation. So these are meant to replace the old style varifocal lens where you had to manually turn a, uh, a focus ring and an angle ring uh, and then manually focus it looking at a test monitor these these motorized zoom controls let you just press a button in and out and then the lens automatically focuses for you it's, it's very convenient especially for a single installer to deal with if you already have the dvr or nvr installed you connect the camera pull up the mobile app use that as a test monitor and you can adjust the angle of view right from the mobile app and it focuses for you uh, that's the primary use secondary uh, some customers do use this to zoom in and out after installation. Um, it's not ideal because it just goes straight in and out. And you'll see when I demo the camera that monitors my driveway, there's a wide angle view and you can see across the street, but the camera is angled down. So when you zoom in, um, you know, the, the area just comes way in and zoomed and it zeroes in on like my driveway. So you can't move left and right. It's just straight in and out. Anyways, let's, let's get to the demo now. I'll run through it directly on the NVR, then the mobile app, then the desktop software. Here's the live security camera view on my Viewtron NVR. And uh, I'm gonna be controlling this camera's zoom here. So I'm gonna switch to the full camera view and then click on this PTZ icon. That brings up the PTZ controls. And I'm just gonna put them off the side over here. And then the only controls that are applicable to this camera are the zoom in and out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the zoom level in a bit. And I'll, I'll pause there and you can see that the motorized zoom lens automatically focuses when I stop. And then I'll go in further. Actually, I'm going to zoom in all the way. There, there's the most narrow zoomed in angle. Uh, and again, it automatically focused. And then we'll back it back out. Pause it there for a second. Let it focus. And then we'll bring it all the way back out to the widest angle, which on this camera is 2.8 millimeter. When I'm done, I can just close out these PTZ controls and I can double click to switch to the multi-camera view on my NVR again. Next, I'm gonna go through the same process on the mobile iPhone app. This is the live view for my iPhone. And again, I'm going to go into the full camera view for the uh, motorized zoom camera that we're using. And then when I tap on the screen, I can select the PTZ controls. And the difference here, obviously, I'm not using a mouse, so I'm actually spreading the screen. So the opposite of pinching, I'm actually taking my fingers and pushing outward uh, towards those arrows uh, to zoom in. And it's it's a little slower. Uh, my, the network at my house, I'm actually having some trouble, so it's it's a, a little bit slower than directly on the NVR. But but you could see even with my network being kind of messed up right now, uh, the experience is pretty good. Uh, so I'm all the way zoomed in now, and you can see the autofocus again. Now, if I want to switch to a full screen view, I can I can close those PTZ controls out and uh, temporarily, and then I just brought them back in. And now I'm going to do the opposite to zoom out. Now I'm uh, pinching the screen, so pulling the screen together uh, to zoom uh, back out. And I'll, I'll pause along the way again just so you can see the autofocus kick in. And then I'm going to stretch and zoom all the way back out to the widest angle that this IP camera supports. 
Uh, when I'm done, I can click that X icon in the lower right, tap on the screen to hide all the controls, and now I'm back at the live view, and then I can tap and select the multi-camera live view. Last, I'm going to demonstrate the video management software for Mac. So I can tap on the screen, uh, just like directly on the NVR, but I'm on my Mac PC now, and then click on the PTZ icon to bring up the PTZ controls. And then again, the only controls that are applicable are the zoom in and out. And by the way, the Windows software is identical to this. So, so uh, although I'm using my Macintosh PC, uh, the user interface for the Windows video management software is identical to this. So again, just going to zoom uh, in a bit, and now I'm zooming back out to the widest angle, and the lens will autofocus. And when I'm done, I can just close those PTZ controls out by clicking on that X. I hope this video has been helpful on showing you how to control the motorized zoom lens using one of our Viewtron IP cameras. And again, it's the same process for our BNC and coax cameras and no additional cable is required. Those zoom controls go right over the same coax camera that's handling the video transmission. If you want to learn more about these Viewtron security camera systems, DVRs, NVRs, IP cameras, and HD BNC cameras, please visit www.cctvcamerapros.com slash Viewtron. Thank you for watching.